Hey everybody! So in this video we are going to be talking about verifying basic trig identities with fractions. So we're given this problem here and we have 1 minus cosine y and sine y in our denominator. The easiest way to get common denominators when you're dealing with fractions is to use the least common multiple. So when we have terms what we're going to do is just multiply these two terms together. So we'll write out 1 minus cosine y times sine y. The issue now is going to be condensing and reducing our numerator. So we can use a little trick called cross multiplication. Now when you do this you want to make sure that you're starting in the top left here with this sine y and then multiplying down to the bottom right. So sine y times sine y is going to give me sine squared y. Now what I have to do is say this denominator times this numerator. Now here you're working with two different binomials. So I'm going to come over here to the side and I'm going to work this out. So we have 1 minus cosine y times 1 minus cosine y. Remember when you're multiplying binomials you have to distribute. So I'm going to say 1 times 1 and that's going to give me a positive 1. 1 times negative cosine y. That gives me negative cosine y. Now I have negative cosine y times 1 and negative cosine times negative cosine which is going to give me a positive cosine squared y. What I'll do is I'll combine these two terms in the middle when I'm writing my numerator. So here I'll have plus 1 minus 2 cosine y plus cosine squared. Looking at the numerator, I want to try to find ways to simplify as much as possible before I begin. I know that sine squared y plus cosine squared y is a part of a Pythagorean identity and that will equal 1. So what I can do is I can cross out this sine squared and this cosine squared and in its place I can just rewrite it as the number 1. And then I'll write what's remaining in the numerator which is 1 minus 2 cosine y and this will all be over our denominator of 1 minus cosine y times sine y. Continuing to simplify our numerator we need to combine these like terms. So here I'm going to say 1 plus 1 is 2 so this will give me 2 minus 2 cosine y all over our denominator of 1 minus cosine y times sine y. Now looking at this it doesn't seem very obvious about a way that we could continue simplifying with this numerator. Normally if you can't think of replacing anything with an identity try using your basic rules of algebra. So in this case it looks like I could pull out a greatest common factor of 2. So we're going to try that. When we factor that out we get 1 minus cosine y and now we have that over our denominator of 1 minus cosine y times sine y. Now we can reduce the binomial in the numerator and the same binomial in the denominator. So we'll cross these out and our simplified solution should be 2 over sine y. And we're trying to verify that this equals 2 times cosecant y. Here this is true because cosecant is a reciprocal identity. So 1 over sine is the same thing as cosecant. So 2 over sine would be the same thing as 2 times cosecant y. So here we've just verified that the left fraction would indeed reduce to give us the solution on the right. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments.